Nathani IDE is not a very full featured one. There are a lot of better IDEs that are available for Python and for other languages. And the one that we're going to take a look at right now is called Spider. So I'll go ahead and bring up the Spider screen. So I can see that um, in some ways it's similar to Thani. On the left side of the screen, we have a code editor with the same sorts of features that we saw in Thani. It does highlights, uh, syntax highlighting with the different kinds of keywords in different colors. And down in the lower right pane is the uh, console, which is connected to an interactive shell. So I can see that I can go to the console and type in something like x equals five, and uh, it assigns the number five to the variable x. One nice thing that Spider has is this thing called Variable Explorer, which I have turned on here in the upper right pane. And in the Variable Explorer, it lists all the variables. So here it is, x. It also tells you what kind of thing it is. So x is a, a, the a type of object that it is, is an integer. And it also tells me what the value is. And in the Variable Explorer, you can actually change the values of the variables on the fly. So if I go up here and say that x is equal to 10, now if I go back down in the shell and type x, it says now that x is equal to 10 because I basically messed with the value in the environment uh, without doing it through the shell. So this is uh, very convenient if you're running code and you, uh, you want to know what's going on. It's a lot easier to tell what's going on with the variable Explorer. So I can run this code um, just as I did in Thani by clicking on this run button here. But the other feature that um, that Spider has is the ability to divide your code into cells. And so you put in a few some special characters. You can see this code has been uh, divided up into three cells. And instead of running them uh, the whole script at once, I can run it one cell at a time. So if I go to the run menu, I will see that uh, I can do control enter to just run the cell, or I can do shift enter to run the cell and then advance to the next cell. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this run cell and advance. So down here in the shell window, a uh, shell pane, I, it's asking me, what is Z? So let's type in two. Okay. Uh, so now it's assigned the value to Z string and calculated what it would be as an integer number. So I can see that up here. And now it's waiting to run the next cell. So if I do shift enter, now, Oh, I didn't uh, give focus to that pane. If I do shift enter, now I can see down in the uh, console here that it's done what that part of the script says it should do. It's printed the values of X and Y and also uh, done what I ask it to do in this if statement. And then there's still one more cell that hasn't been run. I can do shift, uh, give focus again here and do shift enter. And it says, I'm done now. So this is really great because it allows you to just run your code one piece at a time. Or if you want, you can just hit the play button. And it will run the whole script at once. So that uh, feature is very much like Thani. Another feature that Spider has is interactive help. So you can see if I mouse over the print uh, keyword, it will basically tell me how to how I can use that. So it gives me help with that. The same thing with the uh, input function. Uh, so I can basically learn how to use any function simply by mousing over it. So we've really only touched the surface here about um, how to use Spider. 
Um, there's a lot more really cool things it'll do. And one nice thing is if you go to the help menu, you can select spider tutorial and it basically will uh, give you a run through of all the different features, including recommended first steps for Python beginners. So um, I encourage you to explore this if you're going to end up coding in Python.